Hey, welcome to this video. I'm Garrett and you clicked on this, you clicked, wait, are you trying to figure out how to sell digital products on your store? Uh, if so, you came to the right place because I'm going to show you how to sell digital products on your Shopify store. I'm your host, Garrett Smith. Let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, we're starting here in the dashboard and this is where I always like to start. If you've seen any of my other videos, I always start here. I want to keep this super simple and I want to make this uh, very easy to understand. So what we're going to do in this video is install a digital um, download app so it can email your customers uh, a digital file as soon as they purchase the product from you. I want to show you how to set up a product and then attach that digital product to that uh, or the digital asset to that product. So we're gonna start really quick here. It's a probably a two to three minute video, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is go to products, and we're gonna, uh, actually, let's back up for a second. Let's go to apps. We need to download the app, the digital download app, and Shopify has a free version of this. So let's visit the Shopify app store. I don't know if you've downloaded any apps before to your store if you're brand new or where you're at, but the App Store has a bunch of different plugins and apps that you can um, put onto your store to help you sell items, ship things, all kinds of stuff. So let's go to digital, digital downloads. It has a cloud with a down arrow. You know, there's there's probably a few different ones that you can use. For this video, I want to show you the easiest and most simple way, and this is developed by Shopify, so it's a trusted um, version all right and it's free so let's go ahead and say get and what this does it's gonna work behind the scenes and um, install it onto your store and I've created this store it's called bump beats company so the idea for this store is like a, a beats um, a beats website so if you're creating vlogs or videos that need music or beats or instrumentals uh, someone could come to this store download their beat use it royalty free all right, so now that it's downloaded, this is what it's going to look like in the dashboard for digital downloads. It'll show you total sales, total downloads, bandwidth, different things like that. So we're all set up to start adding products. Now let's go here to next step. Let's go to products. Let my computer catch up. Now I don't have any products on the store because it's a brand new store for a tutorial re uh, purpose. So I want to go to add product and we need to add a title so let's just call this um, um, chill chill beat and we can have a description kind of what instruments are in it we'll say bass um, actually I'm gonna say chill beat because I want to put the title in the description so that way when someone searches if I like let's say I'm on Instagram and I say hey go check out my new beat chill beat and someone goes to the search bar and searches chill beat um, from my experience it the store doesn't catch it it doesn't pull from the title um, it pulls from the description I could be wrong but from my experience I just go ahead and put them into both so just to make sure I'm covering my bases and let me know in the comments if that's wrong um, so I can correct myself um, like I said I'm kinda learning this stuff too and I'm just sharing what what I've learned so far so uh, hopefully we can build this community and help each other out. All right, chill beat. So we'll just say bass, uh, hi hat. I'm not a musician either, so I don't know a lot of these terms. But this is just for uh, just for demos, and I'm just gonna leave it at that because I don't know much about it. Images. Um, I don't have an image for it, but you could create one. I'll just put a fake image here for now. Let's put. put this here and I, of course you would want to have like a a better image that said chill be and it kind of you know was um, better presentation for marketing all right and for this B let's go ahead and say it's 499 oh and also you would say like personal use only or commercial use um, you know up here have your disclaimer basically charge tax don't track inventory because this is a digital asset so 
but you can have as many as you want unless they're limited if you had a limited edition launch put 20 on there and put a timer or a countdown timer with the amount left to kind of create some urgency um you know it's up to you but you can go crazy with it this product does not require shipping and then we're going to put it into my home page collection because i want it to be on the front page and tags you can tag the crap out of this thing so you know put uh chill beat beats uh, i don't know um fast if you have like fast paced stuff i don't know you go crazy with the tags you try it out product type we'll put um let's say hip-hop and you can organize your store this is i would go different differently if i was really creating this store okay so online store point of purchase visibility we're all good let's go ahead and save the product all right once this is done now this that product is created on your store but it doesn't mean anything now because there's nothing attached to it if somebody were to go buy this they would be they wouldn't get anything so we need the digital download um, app to send them a link of the product or a uh, attachment um, with a file attached to it so they can download something so your customers are happy all right, so what we want to do is go to these three dots up, up at the top right inside that same product uh, page. Click those, and you can see all your apps here. Add digital attachment. Yes, that's what we want to do. And it's going to take you right to that product, Chill Beat. You see at the top, it says Chill Beat. Make sure it's the right one. And it should automatically take you there, but just to be sure. And now we want to upload a file. and I already have one that I all right so what you want to do is find the file and here's the mp3 uh, that would work with iTunes so I'm gonna go ahead and click this and it should start to upload now it may take a, a while depending on your on your internet connection and your computer so give it some time all right so it only took uh, about 10 seconds and it uploaded pretty fast if this were a big zip file it may take a little, little longer so it says success so that's going to tell you that it's it's good we're ready to rock and now um, you can go back to view in Shopify admin all right perfect so now that product is all set up so what um, what I want to show you now is let's see if it's live on your store should be all right so I got my bump beats company feature product chill beats for 499 let's click it add this thing to the cart and if we follow through with our purchase we would um, get our order confirmation and then it would email us the attachment um, for the for the product so that's how you install digital products onto Shopify and then sell them in the next video I'm going to show you how to customize the email delivery so that way um, so it um, you can refine your message and make it more fluid and custom message to your audience um, because the generic messages are kind of generic they're boring so all right stay tuned for the next video I hope you guys are subscribing and liking uh, these videos make sure to go ahead and like it that kind of helps me know um, if I should keep keep going on these so all right um, that's it we'll see you in the next video